I changed my location around. <laughs> Cleaning out my room so bad. Hi, A+. Plus. <sighs> Which palm is it if you're itchy that you're going to come into money? Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on. She yells at Pete's to get out? Oh, my God. All I had heard, because I only heard in words, was that she didn't want men in her room anymore. I did not hear that she yelled at Pete's to get out. Oh, my God. Maybe because my one palm is super itchy. But. I fooled around and fell in love. No, no, no. Oh, the pads have not left me alone. Up here. I'm eating. Go away. All the pads. Go away. <laughs> no, we're not. In this is the villa. Does it look like Kuwait? <laughs> I know my, I'm sorry. When I come back, I'm investing in a better fan. Maybe one of those stand fans. I don't know. I think that's better. So, um, I'm taking an eating break. I'm massively, massively just cleaning out everything. Like, can't really see much, but maybe I'll do a reveal when I'm like completely done. Marhaba Shantizi. Thank you. I don't know Turkish. Oh, yeah, she definitely was waiting for us to end our stream before because she came live like minutes after we ended ours. Copy what we're doing. I think it's better that I keep a lot of pretty much everything I can just private because like, oh, no, is this chicken vindaloo or beef? Okay, it's chicken vindaloo. So this is chicken vindaloo, which is super. Is my light on? Yeah, it is. It's super spicy chicken, potatoes, um, spices. With some rice. Hi, coffee first. If you have peasant. And some. Okay, why didn't she get paneer? What's the story? Why suddenly Vindaloo? Did she call for paneer and they told her, sorry, we're out of paneer? And she went, shit. And she had to come up with something else. Stuff. <laughs> so, Lambo, are you feeling okay? So let me try a piece of this chicken. And I have some fruits and stuff. I'm trying to like. Eat healthier now. Beauty bite. Hmm. Better flow. Yeah. Yeah. It's so much airier. Like I took down. Ooh, that's spicy. I took down that that rack thing. Ooh, that's interesting. You think he demanded to put the camera facing the door to make sure Pete's doesn't walk in. That's interesting because a few times Pete's had walked in. You could hear him in the room. She would go to mute, but like you could hear that he was in the room to bring her the food, right? Maybe he did. No need. Sorry. Hi, Anna. Pedialyte. Yeah, I have to cook some stuff after too. Oh, damn. Pretty sorry, guys. I didn't see it again. Thank you so much for the hype train. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, they're potatoes. <laughs> so spicy. I'm just taking an eating break and I thought I would like hang out with you guys for a bit. I don't know. Yeah, I need a fan. Look, I need a fan all times. So. Mm-hmm. Mm, about that time. What the hell is that fan even doing for her? Wait, wait. Can we analyze? I've heard of the people who need the fan constantly, like, to sleep or things like that. But what does she need a fan at all times? Look at that fan. It's aimed at nothing. I don't get it. What the hell? I've been, like, working hard. And hardly working. No, I've been working hard, so. About that time. That's the Arabic name for potato. I hope you feel better, Lambo. Oh, I need to follow you back on Instagram so I can see your costume. Can we get him? I'm so I don't want to hear about this stupid salsa ever again. My God. I swear to God, I just said it this morning. When is she gonna stop with this fucking salsa story? She's the one, she keeps saying she doesn't want to hear about the salsa again. She's fed up with the salsa, blah, blah. She has now brought it up in like six live streams in a row. Girl, no one fucking cares about the fucking that salsa. Stop talking about it. Um, I don't know. 
if there's any other foods. Hi, Brittany. Riviera yogurt scandal. Why would I put a take salsa from a jar and put it into a Riviera yogurt container? The Riviera yogurt containers don't even have lids. Oh my God, I swear to God. I swear to God, this fucking thing. Why would you take it out of a container and put it into another container? Well, clearly someone gave you a little container's worth of the salsa, okay? And you can order lids for those little pots online. You go on Amazon, you get the fucking lids. You who loves Amazon probably knows that. I missed my flight. <laughs> no, I was never going today or tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the next salsa thing was just stupid. <laughs> just like a lot of stuff. But when you have no content of your own and you have a boring life. Says the woman stuffing her face in her bedroom, running off to marry a stranger to get him citizenship because that's how desperate she is. Tell us again about our boring lives, Chantal. What else are you going to do? So Tuesday. <clears throat> Salsa much is good on eggs. My place looks nice and fresh. Ooh, that's spicy. Holy crap. My gosh. Yeah, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah. <laughs> she can't take the heat. Like, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. This is painful. Vindaloo is really no joke. <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't really have much to say. Yeah, I know, right? Um you excuse me, what? <laughs> Frenchie addressed the pants on her head? Is that what that is? Oh my God. It does look like the same fabric as that stupid skin tight, what was supposed to be like a, you know, leisure suit for leisure. <laughs> is that what is on her head? I swear to God. Oh, I wouldn't put it past her. YouTube shorts are not monetized. Don't eat spicy food before you. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, thank God I'm not leaving today or tomorrow. Or this week. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, Rosie, I know you said you weren't getting. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the the desk. Like whenever I get there, I'll go to the Air Canada thing and be like, "Are you um? No, you know what? I'm not even worried. About, I'm not even worried about that. I'm like not worried about that. The the plane seats or anything like that at all." <laughs> I don't even care if we're sure about this or not. I'm going with this. Those are the pants on her head. And she has pinned the pants to her head like a hijab. Pizza's sleeping, I think. I don't know. It's really hot. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have some sunblock from when I was in Cuba. Do you think I can bring that? Am I bringing my ring lights? I have a portable ring light I'm going to bring. I'm going to go in the washroom. And you guys are so fucking hilarious that you even caught that those were the pants. That is so funny. Try to be more polite for you guys. <laughs> the daintiness. <laughs> I should have got paneer. Paneer never makes me in pain. Plain cheeseburgers. Hi, plain cheeseburgers. Mm. 
right, right, right. Suddenly the wide camera angle, suddenly she's not uh, streaming in portrait mode anymore as she's moved all the furniture around and now the door is visible. So yeah, maybe that was like something between her and Salad and Salad got pissed about not being able to see the door. I want to see the door. Don't let a man in your room. Where's Salah? I don't know. <laughs> Where are you? He's probably busy. You called me Chantal? What happened to Hey Beezer? They don't check for liquids? Yeah, right, Lynn. Hmm. So my comeback date is actually, I was wrong about that last night. Remember, I was like the 20th or 30th. I don't know because um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay, honestly. Um, I have You have up to like 90 days, but you don't have to stay that long. That's kind of a weird way of saying that, eh? You don't have to stay that long. You have up to 90 days, but you don't have to stay that long. If you're so excited to go and you're so in love with this guy, wouldn't you be sad that you only have 90 days together? And that, like, you don't have to stay that long? Weird. So I'm not sure, but you guys will know more eventually, maybe. Just stay, just stay tuned for my live streams and videos. Or two of... Don't worry about telling us. Yeah. Spirit Halloween is on Instacart, Missy Moo. Susie the doll, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> it's like not your life to worry about, right? I mean, my cats are not going to destroy my bed. What, like... Who cares if the cats destroy her fucking bed? Oh, the ad started? Wow, what timing for a pause. Okay. But really, who cares if the ads destroy her bed? And it's weird. Later, she's going to pan a little bit. I saw a picture on Twitter where you can kind of see what's going on behind her. It looks very, very empty in that room. It's kind of weird. Kind of like she already knows she won't be moving back into that place. Like she, it's almost like she's cleaning too much, a little unsettling, you know, only because it's her and she's filthy and we don't think of her as clean. So her to clean that much, it, th there's something a little weird to, to me. I don't know. She sold everything. No, no, no. I mean like the garbage. <laughs> no one was buying the garbage. Like, and there's kind of nothing to sell. Like, what was she going to sell? She's using the desk, right? She's streaming on it. Oh, maybe she sold the computer. <laughs> God forbid she gives it to Pete's or something. And does Pete's know she's getting married? I would imagine. Ads are over. Okay, great. Oh, this is her on the computer? Because I haven't seen the screen move with her at all. Wait. Thank you, Kelly. Ready, set, rebies. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> of course, Lindell. All right, all right. My bed will be okay. No one's kind of touched my bed. Not the cats. The cats will sleep on it. I hate that. Sometimes I bite into a cardamom pod, like a huge one. It's too fragrant and I'm crying. <laughs> I'm trying to stay composed, but it's so... Okay, well, that's really interesting because I can't. I can't put it in HD. I can only put it in, uh, what is it, 720 or whatever the fuck? Here, look. It's in 720 and that's the highest. And yeah, a lot of times it's true. Sometimes there's a little like HD little symbol there, but it's not giving me the option in this one. So spicy. And I just can't handle it. Oh. 
But like she could totally be on the computer. I hope I'm wrong. Better she keeps the computer. I'll answer your question in a minute. Wait. Yeah, my computer is a piece of shit. But what does my computer have to do with her computer? She didn't get a lemon. Okay, if you don't like spicy food, never, ever, ever order the chicken vindaloo um, from Indian places. White woman jump scare. What happened, plain cheese? Mass bees are death from sofas lasagna. No, I knew Vindaloo was spicy. It's just I forgot how it was spicy. Oh, hey, Indy. I hope you had a great trip. There is so much white cat food. I'm going to show you guys, like, the downstairs. Um, tonight, I have to meal prep and stuff. Um, I'm just doing my room right now. Tonight, and I have to meal prep. She says, like, she's a meal prepper. She's cooking a fucking spaghetti for Pete's and just called it meal prepping. One. I'm just doing my room right now. Um, I have, let me see if I can show you this. Well, yeah. Just my big thing of makeup in this bag. I'm not gonna be wearing a lot of makeup. Um, it's gonna be hot, it will melt right off. Now, does anyone know if this is four ounces, this perfume, my Valentino. <laughs> you can put your like blush body wash. Is this acceptable in my carry-on? <laughs> do you do any like looking into things on your own? Is there anything you can figure out without asking someone for help? Is this four ounces, guys? Can I put this in my carry-on, guys? Can I do this? Can I do this? Teach me, teach me. She's asking a bunch of fucking trolls in her chat. And then body lotion. Oh, the bathroom question. Why would I why would I get on a flight where I can't use the bathroom? Obviously the bathroom is big enough. <laughs> read it, Habib T, read what? Hi Norma Jean. We are not TSA. No, but some of you have traveled, maybe, right? Or no. And maybe your personal experience and knowledge might be able to help. Which is why I ask these questions. God, she's so rude. Such a fucking biatch. So rude. So maybe some of you have traveled. Fuck you. Look it up yourself. Don't ask them questions. Yeah, maybe you're too lazy. Exactly. Fucking hell. Too lazy to go to Google and ask Google your own damn questions. No, I'm not bringing that. I think this is four ounces. Maybe not. It's supposed to be TSA approved. So I'm just going to put everything in here. If they need me to take anything out, whatever. They can do it. I'll just buy another one. I have all my documents ready. Everything. Cash, documents, COVID vaccine paper, just in case. I have an array of treats here. So Pete can come to the treat station. I'm going to leave the cat comb here too. So Pete can come to the treat station. That's her room, I suppose, is going to be the treat station. That sounds so stupid. Um, I have this battery thing that is charged. Oh my God. <laughs> Here I have all of my medications in their original box. Yeah, she's like ready to go. I think we might be right that she might be leaving on like the first or the second because... Look, all the meds are ready to go. Everything's like packed up in its little spot. She's never prepared. Never like prepares ahead at all. She's got to be leaving in the next couple of days at, at the most. <laughs> it does look like the pants. Well, I got to make use of them somehow. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that it is on November 1st. Oh my God. Happy birthday to me. Well, I gotta make use of them somehow. No, this is um 
Oh, just a normal hedgehog. Okay, a Jersey one, they call it. And then this. Okay, that was funny. Somebody said in the chat, is that the pants, right? <laughs> but now that she's shown the bottom, I thought it was going to be the waistband. <laughs> so unless she cut those pants up to make a hijab, I don't think so. I have all my medications in the boxes with the prescription information on it. And then in here, I'm using this to keep, actually, I don't even need to do that. I'll just keep all my receipts and papers in, in here. <clears throat> and medications, I have to, I'm going to like put it with my CPAP and everything. Hold on one more second. Oh, she's so obnoxious with this covering up the camera bullshit. Yesterday, she said two days by mistake. Oh my God, it will be on my birthday then. What? what? Oh, okay. Happy birthday. You Definitely then. It's pants. It's pants. Let's stick with pants. The modesty webcam. Just a webcam cover because, yeah. <clears throat> it's a good idea. And... So what's up? I'm not as deep as I know. Bring the blue pot. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to clean it when I come home. I think I'm not gonna give up on it. What do you think? The blue pot is dead. I can't believe you haven't even thrown it out yet. Oh my God, don't try to clean it when you come back. Throw it in the garbage, start with a fresh blue pot and don't let this one get to, you know, the state of the other one. Bring a variety of meds. An epi needle. What the hell? Where do I get that? Does Kuwait have any weird, big, huge bugs? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's ask Sala. <clears throat> you can buy all those meds there. Yeah. So, I've been watching, I've been, you know, just watching a, a lot of plane crash videos. I don't know. There's a channel. Is it the flight channel? <clears throat> Send me 10K. I'll do it. No, I'm kidding. Not until you get there and bring the crumbs. Shut up. Only Chantal before going on a flight would be watching videos about plane crashes. That's such a fucking Chantal thing to do. Wow. I was in love. How could... Okay. Plain cheeseburger. What was your message to the visas? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Whatever. What's your love message? I don't see it. Are you trying to experience cardiac arrest? No. <clears throat> Let's go avenge PC. Yes, PC. I'll avenge you when I go. Oh my god. Gucci gamer girl. I'm going to try and keep my excitement down. Oh. There is a plane leaving at 8 p.m. on November 1st with Emirates Airlines. Well, isn't that something? <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's not be silly. Let's be normal. What? I don't even know what you guys are talking about. I'm so out of the loop. I feel like I don't even know YouTube anymore. What's going on? Everyone on YouTube sucks now, except me. So, what's going on here? Girl, everyone sucks except you. But look at what's happened to your channel in the past, like, two weeks. Girl, please. She can't afford Emirates. Okay, hear me out. Because she said that she's not the one fully paying for the ticket. And if this whole marriage is what I think it is, she got paid a pretty hefty sum of money already. And maybe that airplane ticket was sort of negotiated into the price that she would have got, you know? Hi, Lulu. You can't be normal. <clears throat> I fell in love years ago. That's cool. You drove a Ford Fiesta and you loved him? Aw. <laughs> we are Beezers. No one's normal here. That's trying exposed Ronnie. I think Ronnie is just married to his cousin. I don't think it's his cousin. His name was Hassan. <clears throat> are you guys watching 90 Day Fiance, by the way? Whoa. Oh, my God. Sam literally waited for me to move. 
That's a good question. Air Canada to uh, where did she say she was going? Either Doha. I think she said she was going to Doha. Did she not? Because she did slip and say that she will go up to the Air Canada counter hmm, to ask about the seats. Move my arm so he could jump up here. You manipulative beezer. You manipulate me. No, I'm watching the real life 90 day fiance. <laughs> <laughs> we are not. Come here, Sam. Let me see you. Let me see Sam. Oh, yeah. I also think she was lying about it being in Dubai. I think it might be in Doha because she accidentally said Doha a few times now. The show is better than TLT. Loaf? Oh. oh, yes. <clears throat> Motherfucker, there it is. Pew, pew. Gucci Gamer, girl. Gucci Gamer, you're so fucking quick on the, like, info and stuff. Thank you so much for doing that. Okay, there is one with Air Canada leaving 8 p.m. on November 1st. <gasps> oh, boy. Sam and playing cheat. You love Sam, maybe a a TLC ain't got nothing on me. Oh watching... shit! Gucci gamer girl, where's the other stop? Okay, I was watching. I'm a little behind on 90 Day Fiance, but I'm really like I like the story of Sue Meat and Jen. Is it Jenny? Just because like she's an older woman, and like her being in India is crazy. Like India, I could not. I don't think I could handle living there. Oh my god, imagine. I mean, oh, your nose is all wet, Rose. Chantal has something up her sleeve, bro. I really don't, you know. So I was watching Jenny going out to the the, the market by herself. We have peasants with pickles, bro. 16 months. Did you see FBRC video? It all seems like it seems allegedly someone wants to send the video of you saying you'd murder a second wife to Kuwait authorities. This I have to call the cops on him because he is insane. He calls stores when I go to stores. He is a gross loser who eats dog, probably wet dog food and does nothing but hate on me on the internet. He you know what? You know what? I don't know if you guys heard that today, but I also heard that today and now they're talking to her about it. And I just want to say, I think it's pretty fucking hilarious that certain people are calling me a fucking stalker and saying that the, the joke that I made about doing a meet and greet at the Kuwait airport an hour before her plane uh, lands. Uh, oh my God, stalker. She's really a stalker. I hope she's kidding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to fucking Kuwait. Did he ever, what the shit is wrong with some people in this fucking community? And add FBRC to that fucking list. Calling ahead airport security to warn of somebody who may off one of their wives. That That's just so fucking insane. And I'm the stalker? Get the hell out of here. Lois of your lane. Look at Shaida's style. I love Shaida's style. I need to learn how to, to wrap those nice cheap on one. The nice cheap on scars. Make an emoji of sound scar. Oh, you did look at this. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, you know we're watching that back. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Look at the shifting eyes when Pete's walks into the room. Holy shit. What, what the fuck was that shift, you phony psycho? Hold on. Shaida's style. I love Shaida's style. I need to learn how to, to wrap those nice chiffon one. The nice chiffon scars. Make an emoji of sound scar. Oh, you did look at this. Yes. I'll be done in a bit and then I'll come get you, okay? Uh, you don't want me bugging your audience? <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye. No, yeah, it's it, yeah, but like, uh, hold on. Oh, that's disgusting. Fuck you, Chantal. Fuck you. Look at her. Be Salad must have told her, don't let him in the room anymore. That's so obvious. 
so obvious. Peace comes in and she's all like, oh no, I've been caught. Like I didn't tell him not to come in the room. So now she has to whisper to him like, sorry, Pete's, I'll explain, you know? Fucking hell, Pete's. Ugh. That makes me sick for her. That makes me sick for Pete's. Both of them make me so fucking sick. Disgusting. Salad does pop in the chat in a bit, does he? Well, of course he does. God damn. She's so fucked up. Yeah, Pete's is a pawn in her life. Imagine being treated like that after all the years and all the shit you'd gone through together and blah, blah, blah. That is so fucked up. And look, she's laughing like this is funny to her. Chantal, you're so fucking gross. Poor Pete's. Yeah, poor Pete's indeed. She's such an asshole. Poor Pete's because of you again. You are such a spineless, just gross human being, Chantal. Let's see. In the past year, Pete's has been threatened multiple times by the crackhead that you chased relentlessly. And now Pete's is being told in his own home. Remember, she's not even on the lease of that villa. Where he can, like, enter, where and when and what room he can enter. Why? To appease some rando on the other side of the world that nobody's met. Wow. He doesn't seem sad he's being left alone. I'm not, I don't, I don't like to have, like, any men in my room. You think so, Tweety? It could be. So... I'm a married woman now, so I think it's just inappropriate. Well, I'm not married. Well, you You're not married yet, you psychopath. Oh, Salad. Salad, I swear to God, if I knew anybody to set you up with, I would just to spite this bitch. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm trying. Here's the thing. You guys are going to hear me, like, contradicting myself a lot because I'm purposely trying to be vague so that I can keep some of my privacy. It is hard to do that, especially from where I come from and, like, my past of being so open, but I'm trying my best. Do you know where I get that Turkish coffee? The no impediment thing? Can I not just get it at the embassy? I'm like supposed to call around and find out about that. So everything, yeah, I know I have to have that. <clears throat> the embassy in Kuwait, the Canadian embassy. Here's me. Here's me. No treats right now, I just gave you food. You'll never think it's for Canadian citizenship. Hi, Diego. The color Saida wears will be perfect for you, too. We'll get to the wrapping. I know. It's, there's so many different ways. That's why I follow so many, like, people who wear hijabs and stuff on Instagram, because I can just watch, like, how they do it. Like, I just learned this, like, to put this up here. <laughs> oh, yeah, listen, listen. Your boy Jimmy, totally agree. I don't usually ever defend Pete's. I'm the I'm the one always screaming at Pete's to get the fuck out of the room and stuff. I don't like Pete's. We dipped in for Pete's yesterday. I could barely send two minutes of Pete's, but that's neither here nor there, right? My feelings on Pete's have nothing to do with the fact that she's treating him like complete garbage. Again, <laughs> how does he not just see his like? place in her life, her his importance in her life, if she will literally shit all over him for random stranger. <laughs> you know, like, I'm still like, why? Look, shit, shit. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, I don't watch her uh, haunted. Oh my god, Annie with an L, not Annie with a P. Hey, girl. <laughs> I'm so bad with the names from the YouTube to hear. She doesn't have the certificate of non-impediment yet. Told you she may need one. Oh my god. Speed bump in the marriage arc road? Hmm? Doll. I missed you so much. Excited to see your travel vlogs. Thank you, Diego. Yeah, I'm excited too. Get compression saw. Our cat's hollow. <laughs> It depends how they're, you know, oft. <laughs> I would also marry Pete for a Canadian citizenship, but not just jam. I have standards to come on you. Hello. When the clouds part. Hi. It's nice to just chat with you guys. Like, you know, 
I'm not going to stay on too long because I do have a lot, lot, lot to do. I would also marry Pete's for Canadian citizenship, but not just jam. I have standards to come find you. Hello. When the clouds part. Hi. It's nice to just chat with you guys. Like, you know, I'm not going to stay on too long because I do have a lot, lot, lot to do. So I'm going to get off soon. Um, I'm sub to Sarah Jane on my alt account. Which alt account? The Beezer show? That's possible. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm sub to barbecue chicken. No, I'm not actually. I don't think so. I don't even know who I'm sub to anymore. Are you wearing your pants on your head? Ha ha. No. Um, but it would match. Why isn't your husband in the chat? I want to conversate. I guess he's really busy. He'll come in whenever he can. What is inappropriate? Con your confusion? <laughs> Having men in my bedroom, right, babe? Are you still sub to Amber Lynn? Having men in my bedroom, a ribby. <laughs> so the guy got pissy that she has Pete's in the bedroom. What the fuck? That is fucked. And Pete's already told us, like, oh, yeah, no, she doesn't wear the hijab when she's off the live stream. This is so fake. I can, I can never imagine at this age or ever putting in this much effort for anyone. Forget a stranger. Forget a... This is a lot, like too much. No fucking way. No fucking way. God damn, doing cartwheels for a complete stranger. She wants to be important. This makes her important. This makes her even more of a dumbass than she was before this. No, I don't. I'm not sub to a lot of people, actually. Like I don't sub to a lot of people, but I go and check their channels and stuff. Oh, yeah, listen, I'm here for the trip. I am all about this trip. Go on the trip. But I would love a road bump in the marriage arc of this trip. Just Kuwait bees and right back home. Hell yeah, I am here for all that and the raging that would ensue. Holy shit. Procrastinating the chores. I'm watching you in Halloween makeup tutorials. Yeah, I wanted to carve that pumpkin at least and maybe put it out. And then maybe, I don't know, at least hand out some candy. Luann, member for nine months. Room looks nice. Thank you. It is um, a lot cleaner. I have to vacuum. My bed has my suitcase and my travel uh, carry-on. Um, so I'm just going to be working on packing and slowly, getting things in, um, cleaning, massive cleanup. Excuse me. And um, I guess Pete's going to just work on things like a little bit while I'm gone, and I don't know. So... You're handing out little gold chocolate presses. Oh my god, yum. My goals for Kuwait. Um, you know, married life. Um, content. Exploring a new culture, respectfully, and... Married life content. I'm gonna... Uh, uh, ads? Okay, okay. So Chantal wants to make her couple's channel, and she wants to do married life content. Like, what does that mean? You don't cook, you don't, I don't know, do all those little, oh my God, they're going to do TikToks? Is that, it? I'm trying to think of all the little couple channels and what they do. There's no kids, so they're not going to be running around playing with kids. She doesn't cook, so they're not going to be like having a little kiki and like cooking things together in the kitchen or whatever. Uh, she can't dance or move for shit, so they're not going to be a little TikTok hipping and bopping channel. The fuck are they going to do? Yeah, okay, Trisha. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Stand in her kitchen and make fucking buttered noodles every night? Maybe. She is not funny. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -mm. Mukbangs. She can eat and he can play one-handed keyboard. Oh, that's the couple's content right there. There you go. Oh, my God. See, we're all thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. I think we're right. We're on to something. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and then play some of the video games that he bought, right? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Insane. Insane. Chantal has boils, a beard, skin tags, a fupa, STD hole, etc. Yeah, she's just a grab bag of fun. <laughs> um living life, you know, not just sitting around and doing things that are destructive for my health and for my mental health. Um, I 
thank you, Teddy Pig. That's so nice of you. And I'm sorry again, guys. I've forgotten that we're on the Twitch. Thank you so much to anybody who has subbed, followed, um, gifted subs, cheered with bits, or are just here chilling and talking in the chat. Appreciate it, guys. And I'm sorry that I always forget. I'm an asshole. Oh my god, Mimi. I'll do some cooking, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, he's not helping me pack. Thank you, Lola. I don't know, Flopera. <clears throat> Maybe. That's really nice, Lola. I appreciate that. Maria's world. I hope you stay safe. Thank you. I was a kid. Oh my gosh. You should make Salah Putin so he can learn about your Canadian culture. <laughs> or one dish. Um. Uh, excuse me. We have plenty of other dishes. You just don't know them. I bet you Ottawa has like a thing. I wouldn't know what it is, but you come to Montreal, for example, you have the bagels. You have the smoked meat. You have the steamays. You ha although he's not eating the steamay. He could have a kosher steamay. Hmm? Uh, you got the poutine. Like, their stuff, okay? If I don't answer your questions, it's because it's too personal. What do you like the most about Sala? I, I, I can't pinpoint one thing. There's too many. He's a really, really got a sweet, sweet heart. After storm comes a rainbow. Hopefully. You're going to die in that heat. <laughs> Make him a mug of gravy. Yeah, it, it's very hot. But in the winter, it's not. It's a good time to go now. You know. He answered the question what he likes about you. There's also too many things. I think I did answer that the other day, too. You guys know I'm super, super, super attracted to him. <laughs> I can't think of anything I don't like, so. He's talented. He's smart. He's gorgeous and super sweet. Just, just for me. What do you mean, Turkish? I don't have a reg registry, no. Should I make a wedding registry? <laughs> Did you pack something to read on the plane? Yes. Ooh, squidgy. FFG, I spoke to my lovely neighbor. She's beautiful and she comes from Kuwait originally. Uh, she said they will not take kindly to her if the paperwork and everything is not in order. They can refuse her entry. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pack a book because that's a good idea. Hey, I like bugs. Lulu, I'm happy for you. You should do a quick candy and treats haul there. <laughs> Ready, set, rebies. Thank you. It's 86 degrees today in Kuwait. Oh my God. That's great weather. <clears throat> That's hot. Everywhere has AC, guys. It's one of the hottest places on earth. So it's also one of the richest places. There's got to be AC. <laughs> Come on. The book is called How to Be Halal 101. <laughs> really? Oh, I mean that people find peace. Okay. Yes. I agree with that, Turkish. Bachelorette party? Yes, bugs. The flight's been booked a long time. <laughs> the flight's been booked a long time, even though I've only been talking to this person for like two weeks. Long time. Two weeks. These are bridesmaids. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> oh my god. So I know, yeah, like I know a lot of the changes are just very drastic and sudden and whatever. Humbleness for dummy. Make a registry. Amazon? Yeah, I'm going to say it again. If anybody buys her anything off her registry, you're an idiot. Hmm? People already pay her $5 a month to chat. She has her ad revenue for being rude to her members and an asshole on the internet in general, making a joke out of somebody's religion now to manipulate um, 
she did a whole scam of a postcard thing. She never sent the postcards. She was supposed to do a giveaway after Cuba. She never sent the coffee. She said she was going to start doing giveaways and giving away money and stuff. Never did any of that. Completely shit all over the donation that we collected for the Montreal SPCA. Uh, if she wants crap from Amazon, she can buy it for her damn self. Anybody buys anything from that restaurant, uh, restaurant that registry, you're a fucking idiot. Oh, pass. I want a skimpy bridesmaid dress. You want to go to Amazon and buy something? Go to Amazon and buy something for yourself. I, I don't know anything about it, but... No, I'm not live, <laughs> Janet. I won't live stream the wedding, but I will definitely... Um, we'll see what I can get for footage in my vlogs. So I'm going to be trying to do, you know, inshallah, a vlog series. I need to remember how with other guys you didn't like something about them within a few days. Oh, fuck yeah. We can definitely review it and make fun. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Within a few days, I knew Rhonda, right? Well, yeah, I know what you mean. No, uh, yeah. I'll be okay, Rhonda. You traveled, ooh, you traveled to Israel at 365 pounds, and it was a long flight, and I was fine. I do suggest popping an emodium in the morning before your flight, especially if you're no, yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. I disagree. Listen, she knows Koki can't leave the country. He has no passport. He cannot leave. And at the time of Cuba, he was still on probation, even if he had a passport, right? I think she went to Cuba out of spite. She went to spite him. First of all, Didi had been to Cuba. So she had to go like even with Didi. You've been to Cuba? Okay, well, I got to go to Cuba. Second of all, the fact that Koki couldn't leave and go with her, it was like a flex on him. Like, I'm going to Cuba. And the whole Cuba thing went down, what, the night after she ate the RB sandwich on the purple mattress trying to lure her crackhead back, thinking in the morning she'd wake up and the crackhead would want to come back to Ottawa with her. But that's not how that played out. So she was extra pissed when she left. Like, fuck you. I'm going to Cuba. Fuck you. India, yeah. really missy. I know people act like I'm like 500 pounds. Like, I'm smaller than 365. So I think it'll be all right. Where are all of the VIBs? Some of them pop in here and there. Um, no, no video. It's just like not going to be a huge thing. I can't believe you're really getting married. I'm kind of sad about it, but I want you to be happy. Be safe and give yourself grace and time. Thank you, Lolo. <laughs> Ready, set, babies. Yeah. It's not like, I don't know. It's, yeah. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> I'm super. Of course you can date a Muslim man without wearing a hijab. Wearing a hijab is supposed to be a personal choice. It's not even supposed to be about the man you date or whatever. But yeah, definitely. I'm someone who has. I've dated multiple Muslim men for multiple years. I've never worn a hijab. Super, super excited. And <laughs> thank you for rebeezing, Lolo. I'm going to get off um, soon. Like in a few minutes, your daughter broke up in hives. Maybe someone's perfume. Yeah, Benadryl is good too. Yeah, there's all of you are VIBs. Yeah, bugs pretty much. <laughs> Just like anywhere, I think, Kristen. <laughs> but I'm not even thinking about that. <laughs> Just in case. FFG, personal thought, but we know she doesn't do anything unless there's something in it for her. She said she was with her tax guy literally a couple of days before she met Salad. Is this a tax thing? She owes a lot, but if she we married filing jointly, it would change that sh what she owes. Just one of my high thoughts last night. I smell tax scam though. No, no, definitely, definitely not a tax scam. He how can I say the 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 uh, joint filing doesn't help her for her back taxes at all. It wouldn't affect anything in the past. However, you're I, I totally agree with she doesn't do anything unless there's something in it for her. What's in it for her, in my opinion, has been since we heard all about this, is a marriage of convenience that she's being paid for. So she's going to earn a large sum of money for going through with this. Uh, but yes, she would have had to see her tax guy a few days before any of this would happen. You can't sponsor somebody if your taxes aren't in order. It would be a roadblock for them. So she had to get her taxes in order, even if she owes back taxes. As long as she has a payment arrangement with the federal government, she's good and she can sponsor her spouse to come here.
So in order to do the marriage of convenience, she would have to get those taxes in order. Case. There's no just in case. This, yeah. You can always have a Canadian wedding in the future. I'm here for the long run, girly. Even if I don't always agree with everything. And you're always respectful, Lolo. You're like a normal person. I like, <laughs> thank you. Turkish coffee. Oh, is this, are you rebeezing Turkish or is that a troll? Ready, set, rebees. On the longer flights, the staff usually are awesome keeping you comfy. Yeah, I'm like actually just hoping that the plane won't be full and I can just stretch out. Yeah. Maybe I can do a registry. I don't know. A backup plan for preservation. Interesting. In Canada, um, you have to have a higher income, let's say, to sponsor other members of your family. Let's say when this guy would get his um, citizenship or whatever, if he would want to sponsor like people of his family to come his directly, like his mother, his father, his siblings, then yeah, he would need a higher income than you need to sponsor a spouse. Sponsoring a spouse in this country, really there's like a hidden agenda behind it, but they try not to keep spouses apart. They want to encourage people to sponsor their spouses to come here, hoping that children are born from the union and it drives up our population because we have a, a, a population problem in this country. They're always looking for like ways to boost the population here.